With USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 all the rage today, we're going to take a look at the Firecuda gaming SSD that can hit speeds up to 2000 megabytes per second. Today we're going to take a look at the Firecuda gaming SSD from Seagate. Now this is one of the newer entries that takes advantage of the USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 interface that allows you to transfer data up to 2000 megabytes per second. Now this is all the rage right now, basically the new portable SSDs that can hit 2000 megabytes per second. Um, we recently did a review on the WD Black P50 game drive uh, from Western Digital that already made use of that interface. And in that video, check it out, you can see that, or we said that in order to hit those speeds, you must make sure that you have the right interface for that. So you need the latest USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 interface to hit those speeds. So what we had to do basically to start testing out these drives were to upgrade our rig as well, just to be able to test and make sure that these guys do hit those speeds. So does it? Well, we'll get to that in a minute. So out of the box, what you get is you get the game drive, this the gaming SSD. So it is quite small. It's got a very uh, sleek and slim profile. It actually looks like something that's very executive, very business-like rather than Scream Gaming. When it comes to build and construction, this drive is basically made out of all metal and I wouldn't be too afraid dropping it because it does feel very sturdy. It feels quite solid. It actually feels like a small little brick in your hand. And I mean, it's smooth to touch, but it does actually have some weight to it, which is a uh, plus as well as a minus for this drive, the fact that it is quite a bit heavier than other portable SSDs that we've seen. So does the Firecuda gaming SSD hit the 2000 megabytes per second speeds? Well, we tested it just as we do our other SSDs, which is run it through Crystal Disk Mark 7 across two separate profiles. We use the peak profile to measure its, to see if it can hit speeds at a peak setting and the real world profile to give it a more, well, real world feel and application of how you would transfer data. And across the peak profile, yep, it definitely hit those 2000 speeds. In fact, it went slightly higher to about 2060 and 2080 on its reads and writes. On the real world transfer speeds though, as you would, it did drop in terms of the speeds that it could hit, it was hitting about 1450 and 1780 in terms of reads and writes, but that is expected and it is really, really fast. What we also did was put together, now we've got our test files or test folder with files up to about 43 gigabytes and the transfer time that it took to transfer that 43 gigabytes from our desktop to the game drive, it only took 40 seconds. That is a blazing one gigabyte per second and it's very reflective on its actual real life data transfer speeds. Now that we know this runs really fast, how much does it cost? Well, just before we shot this video, we went to this official Seagate store on Shopee to check the prices. Well, the 500 gigabyte model goes at about 259 Singapore dollars. The one terabyte model goes for about 400 Singapore dollars. And the two terabyte model goes for about 689. Now, these are big numbers. What you have to consider is, it is actually quite a bit cheaper than some of its competitors out there. So it's not too bad when it comes to value. In conclusion, this is a good looking drive. It's sleek, it's got you know a very corporate look rather than, I would say a more corporate look than a gaming look. It performs very well and its price point actually is very competitive. 
So if you're looking for an upgrade, if you have the latest USB 3.2 Gen 2 by 2 interface or you're looking to get one, this is a gaming drive that you might want to consider.